Okay guys, I'm back. It's Ryan John Baptiste. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, um, all I do is talk about fitness, show you training videos. One minute guys. This thing on the table is rocking and it is making noise. I'm not sure if you could hear, hear that, but. but anyway guys, so yeah, we do everything fitness, fun, family, and all of the rest of it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. So today, um, I put a question out to my Instagram, on my Instagram story, um, about a QA and a and about you guys just finding out a little bit more about myself. Um, so the question went a bit like this. Q&A guys, um, if you want to know more about me, ask the question. So I put the question out and here are some of the questions that popped up. I'm just going to go from my phone so I can get the questions up. Um, and I'll pop them up on the screen also, so you can see. All right, so the first question goes a bit like this, right? Goes a little bit like this. What are your stats? Which is a decent question. What are my stats? So I'm guessing like height and stuff. So my current height, hopefully I haven't shrunk, is six foot. It may be 5'11", but I'm gonna say six foot. Sounds a lot better, 183 centimeters. Um, my current weight is about 98 kg. I'm in a bit of a uh, cutting phase at the moment. So I'm about, 90, uh, about 98 kg. Um, stats wise, uh, my, my waist, let's go from waist. Um, that is around 33 inches and reducing as we speak. What other stats do you want? Body fat percentage, uh, that is probably now decreasing. We are around about the nine, eight and a half to nine percent. Uh, body fat right now. Um, arms. What do you think, guys? What do you say? 22 inch? Nah, I probably think about 19, 20 inches. Um, biceps. And that's all you're getting. You know, that's a lot of info, guys. That is a lot of info. Alright, off to the next question, guys. The next question we have is any plans towards the Olympia stage? As you guys not already know, I, I, I was men physique. I was on, I, I represented well, the UK myself in 2016 as a finalist at Olympia. And um, I placed 11th out of, I think there was about 40 of us. Approximately about 40 of us. So I got 11, I got a second call out. I'm pretty happy with that. But when I got 11, I was like, oh, I didn't make top 10. I've just missed out on top 10, but um, I will be returning, trust me. But as a classic physique competitor, I'm going to be on, uh, I've now done the switch and I am smashing up my legs and trying to get that to um, be in proportion with my upper body. So classic physique is my new adventure, my new journey, and I am looking to qualify next year for the Olympia stage. It's going to be tough because there's some really good competitors out there, but I'm always up for a challenge and I always want to, you know, push myself and give myself a really good goal to achieve. So if you've got goals yourself, give, you know, make that goal something that is achievable, but really hard at the same time. Um, next question, what's your favorite meat? That's a very good question. My favorite meat. Right, so let's, let's, let, let's break it up a little bit. So my favorite meat off season, I just love the taste of this meat. I can, you know, it's a little bit fatty on the fatty side, hence the off season um, part. I love lamb. I just love the taste of lamb. If you're with me, high five me right now. Boom. But yeah, lamb for me is great, man. Leg of lamb, any kind of part of the lamb. I just love the taste of the meat itself. Um, during my, say, a cutting phase, I like to have rump steak. Um, I know obviously there's a bit of fat on it, but during my, during my cutting phase, I still have it. Um, I like rump or sirloin. I mean, ribeye is my second best meat off season, but steak, just to break up that chicken breast, turkey breast, fish, cod, I like to have the, the, the steak as well. So yeah, so there's my two, lamb off season and uh, steak during my cutting phase. But don't get me wrong, I like steak off season as well. Um, next question, what are your future plans? That kind of ties into my Olympia kind of journey. 
like I, I mentioned before, I want to I want to get on the Olympic stage as a classic physique. That's my plan going forward. So at the moment, I'm training really hard in a gym, training legs twice a week, um, my, upper, my upper body, each body part once. Um, but also with my business as well. Obviously, I'm a transformation coach. I, I, you know, I get people in great shape, whether it's for competition or for just um, holiday goals or whatever. So I want to kind of build that, um, bring out a some tops, some like some hoodies and some vests. Like I mean, nothing major. I just want to start off small and see where it goes for you guys. And um, yeah, I want to be a great ambassador again for Cytec Nutrition, which is my sponsor. So kind of it all kind of ties into one and just trying to be su su successful within this fitness industry. And I mean, putting a work in like this, um, giving you guys knowledge and information going forward is what I want to do. So those are my future plans. And also, yeah, YouTube, I wanna, um, I'm now planning more video content for you guys. If you have any ideas or any videos that you wanna see from myself, then put it in the comments below. Um, I'll add that to my list. Uh, and I've got a little runny nose. What else you got? Uh, Top exercises for lower chest gains. Um, this is one of those questions where you can, obviously, you can do decline bench press or decline uh, Smith press or decline dumbbell presses to hit the lower chest. But for me, just your normal flat bench dumbbell press or um, barbells are probably the best for the gaining mass and you're gaining it the whole, for the whole chest. Um, I found that doing decline flies really does catch that lower chest. Um, so either decline flies or with dumbbells or um, using the cables. So you're coming up from high and you're bringing down low. It can really kind of catch that lower part of your pectoral muscles, your chest muscles. Um, I find that. So using a mixture of both of those, what I've just mentioned, give that a go. And um, there's no best for me. There's no best movement, you have to incorporate all different movements and, and see what's right for you as well. Uh, da, da, da. How old are you? Good hair on the face, guys. <laughs> I am 34 years of age, guys. 34, yes, I'm getting old. Um, I'm not old. When I get to 60, guys, and I'll, be, and I'll be watching this video back saying, I thought I was old at 34. No way, no, I'm old. I'm not old, I am young. Um, I started this game a long time ago, training when I was younger from about 18, in and out of the gym. Built up my love for it and kept doing it and seeing improvements and you keep going and now I'm 34. But yeah, I'm 34 guys, so um, age is just nothing but a number. I wanna keep improving, I wanna keep progressing my own physique, so you can do the same. Next question, do you ever use Psalms or peptides? No, I don't. Um, I have done some research and reading upon like different uh, Psalms and obviously different type of peptides. Uh, all this guys helps with like muscle building. Um, Psalms has got like, they've got benefits a little bit like steroids, um, but it's not one. So they say, so it's all illegal at the moment. Uh, so I've done a little bit of research on it, but I've never used it. Um, I, I think, I know a couple of people that use it. Um, I don't really see any drastic changes for people that use it that I know of, but I mean, do your own research on it, guys, as well. Have a look, have a read about, Google it, YouTube it, um, and see what you think. Da -da -da -da. Football or boxing? That is a great question. Football or boxing? <sighs> football or boxing? I'm going to have to go football, guys. Just. I mean, I'm a big fan of both. Um, I love my football. I'm an Arsenal supporter. And um, I also follow boxing. I, I follow all the big fights in America and, uh, and the UK. I sometimes stay up late and watch the ones from New Vegas, the US. But football for me, I grew up watching and watching and supporting Arsenal and obviously England. That is my passion. Every weekend it comes on and I try and go to games as much as possible. But um, yeah, good question by the way. But there you go guys. That's the Q&A. 
uh, about myself. Hopefully you got some info from it. If you would like to see more of these kind of Q&A videos, do let me know. Um, I might change the setting. Um, I'm trying to build up this whole Instagram thing and try and make it better and more fun. But there you go, guys. You've learned a little bit about myself. Um, if you've got any further questions that you might want to see on further Q&A videos, put them below and I can kind of add that and hopefully get a video for Q&A again. All right, anyway guys, uh, I will see you soon. See you on the next video. I've got some really good content coming up and planning them properly. So I want them to be quality videos. And again, if you haven't already done so, do, subscri <laughs> do subscribe to, to my channel uh, for more updates and uh, more exciting videos um, in the near future. All right guys, see you in a few days. Peace out.